I'm High Hill Knight. Welcome to my channel. This is my review of Batman and Harley Quinn. I give the movie a B plus. Batman and Harley Quinn is about Batman and Nightwing recruiting Harley Quinn to help them defeat the Pharaonic Man and Poison Ivy from trying to transmutate the world. It's done in the style of the Batman animated series from the 1990s, but its tone is much more mature audience in mind. So you can't bring your kids to see it, or you can't show it for your kids, but uh, uh, it doesn't have an official rating, but if it were to be rated, it would definitely be PG-13 with a slight dial to the R. <laughs> uh, if PJ Masks and Paw Patrol were, say, level one, and something like uh, Family Guy and South Park were level 10, this movie and many of the DC animated director home video feature films rank in the 7 to 8 range. Now, even though I saw this movie in theaters, I'm going to treat this review like a rental review because it really was designed for the home market. So I won't be giving away any major spoilers. I'll simply gloss over the things I liked and things I didn't. One of the things I love is that the original voice cast returns for all the principal roles, except for Harley Quinn, who is now voiced by Melissa Rauch of The Big Bang Theory. Uh, once you get adjusted to her voice, uh, she, it's a fantastic experience. She's wonderful as Harley Quinn, and the entire film is pretty good overall. My, my actual favorite, favorite feature of the movie is a scene that takes place in a diner. And again, not giving anything away, the theme of the diner is so... I can't believe this is not real. I, I, I really want a Warner Brothers or somebody out there to make this a reality. Like, if you see the film, you see the diner, you see the theme of the diner, you'll wonder, why is this not happening in real life? Someone make this happen in real life. And if it is happening in real life, somebody tell me where it is so I can go to that diner. <laughs> and the reason why I give this movie a B plus, even though it probably would get a solid A, is that there is a scene of sexual aggression. Now, this is not the first time a scene of sexual aggression has been used in one of the DC animated uh, direct-to-home market films, but it sort of skims the line of power balance and appropriateness. Uh, overall, it's done for laughs, uh, and it's not an awful scene like in uh, the recent Batman The Killing Joke release, uh, there was a sexual aggression scene that was not done well, whereas in... Uh, the Assault on Arkham video, there was a sexual aggression scene that was done very well. And But in this movie, it's really skirts the line. And just so I can clear about sexual aggression, basically there's one character that's uh, thrusting themselves onto another character, and that other character technically can say no, technically could walk away, or technically could resist, but sort of complies anyway, sort of like a well, there's no real point of saying no, even though I could. It's more of compliance as opposed to uh, really offering uh, consent. So in this movie, it really skirts it. And so when you see the movie, uh, even if you like the scene, just think to yourself, or uh, reverse the gender roles and play that scene out in your head. And you'll see what I mean, especially when you match it to what happened beforehand, the scene that happened beforehand. Um, it really caused that question, which is why this movie, which probably would have gotten a solid A, if that scene had been a little better, it would have gotten a solid A. Otherwise, it's a bleed plus. I won't really talk about the plot too much because, you know, it's a superhero movie. It's bad guys versus good guys. I will say that there is a mid credit scene and that there is a post credit scene. So when you do see this movie, definitely stick for those because they're really great scenes. Other than that, I won't really talk about the plot because, you know, if you're familiar with superheroes in general, you've got your good guys, you got your bad guys. The bad guys are trying to uh, do something to the world. The good guys are trying to stop it. And they recruit another bad guy. Will this person go bad? Will this person stay good? You don't know. That's the plot. So <laughs> there's no real need to go into any other details than that. I will say that I enjoy the movie very much. I do recommend it. And except for that one questionable scene, uh, it was a gem from start to finish. So that's my review of Batman and Harley Quinn. Again, I give it a B plus. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. 
Please share any comments you'd like to have in the comment section. Please like and share this video or dislike and share this video, which I think the first told you. And remember, find inspiration everywhere.